Hello guys, welcome back into Mountain Dog Companion, hanging out with uh, Zara and Benny's litter of five boys and four girls. Everyone's doing great. Just want to do a little bit of a litter reveal for you or an update for you here at around two and a half to three weeks. So guys, here out these guys and girls. These are the guys, by the way. But, I mean, puppy noises for days. Um, so they're all doing great. Everyone's coming along very well. Hey, I'm super excited to see how these guys come along. So um, again, there's five boys, four girls in this litter. Their markings are absolutely phenomenal. Um, and they're doing very well as far as health. They're nice and chunky and just beautiful puppies in general. So um, I'm gonna be going through talking about each one, giving you a good idea of how they look in, in a comparison with each other and give you a nice feel for each puppy. Uh, so starting things off with boy number one, absolutely stunning head. I mean, these guys just have nice big round heads. They just opened their eyes. Um, so a nice white blaze in between his eyes there. You got nice white socks front and back and a little bit of a Swiss kiss up top, but nothing like substantial. It'll probably fade out. It's not a lot. Buddy, you're good. There you go. Um, it's not really a lot necessarily. It's just a little tough to wait. Um, and these guys are very even when it comes to size at this age. Uh, very, very similar, so not much of a difference here. So I won't really get into that, but we should, in the next video, around like five to six weeks, we should have a really good um, feel for that as well. But there's not really an undersized puppy in this litter. So moving on to boy number two, um, a little bit of a thinner blaze for him, which kind of cleans up his face, makes those tan points really pop. And then you got the nice white socks in the front and in the back, along with a white tip tail and no Swiss kiss. So, stunning boy there, boy number two. We'll keep on rolling here. I'll, I'll grab you next. You're, you're kind of the, the noisy guy in the group, so I'll grab him next. Oh, now. You're good. There you go. Yeah, so he's got probably the most weight in the litter. Um, he's a little bit vocal right now wide awake, but nice amount of white on his face, uh, kind of extending over top, giving him a unique look. Buddy, hey. Yeah, there you go. You good? Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Um, so a nice amount of white here in between his eyes, around the face, and nice tan points on the face, or on the feet, or on the, on the face here on the side on the eyebrows and some tan on the legs there for sure. Uh, nice white socks front and back for him. And then um, a nice white tip tail. So that's boy number three. Moving on to boy number four. He's heavy, he's a heavy guy. He's got a little bit less white as well. So a nice white blaze in between his eyes but it's not too much white. Um, and I mean, Look at that face. Absolutely stunning round head. Nice white socks front and back and a white tip tail. No Swiss kiss for him either. Um, so a nice look there for you. And then boy number five, back here hanging out in the corner. See if I can wake him up here real quick. Beautiful, beautiful guy. You got the nice white blaze in between his eyes. Um, really coming through in a nice like wide strip, uh, but even and then you got the tan points His tan points on the face seem a little bit lighter um, Just a touch more like red um, Comparing to some of the others um, Like the legs is kind of is where it's kind of darker for these guys But then on the face it kind of seems to be a little bit lighter um, and more uh, kind of on that red rust uh, look so Beautiful guy, and that's it for the boys. So they're all doing good. Um, again, five boys. Okay, guys, moving on to the girls portion of the video here. Uh, we got four girls. One's blocking off everyone else right now. <laughs> See if I can get her back. There we go. 
um, but they're doing very well. Again, there's really not an undersized puppy in this litter. Um, they're all very even and very similar. So um, doing very well. We'll go through each one, talk about each one, just like we did for the boys. So starting off all the way on the right there, girl number one, um, a nice weight strip in between her eyes. Um, no Swiss kiss for her. You got the nice white socks in the back. Easy girly, it's okay, I'm just showing you off. And then a nice, uh, nice white socks front and back and a nice little white tip tail. No Swiss kiss, beautiful tan on the side of the face. And these girls have like, easy there, it's okay. It's okay. There we go. Um, but these guys just have the nice round head. Um, I know everyone likes keeping an eye on that. Um, kind of seeing that facial structure and I just can't say that enough. Um, it's kind of been coming around a lot and Benny with his round head um, and Zara with her round head, it just really gives beautiful structure, wonderful confirmation for these guys. It's not like they're gonna be super leggy. They're not gonna be super nosy. They'll just have a nice round confirmation um, and nice stocky um, set. So really what you're looking for when it comes to um, a Bernice Mountain Dog. So moving on, girl number two, you got white socks front and back and a white tip tail, a little bit of a Swiss kiss up top, not much coming through that might fade out. Um, so it might have like a little bit of um, like the, the white will have a little bit of say later on in life, but not much. It might uh, fade out. You might see like one or two hair in the back. Uh, just sticking out when she's an adult. So, a beautiful look there for her. A little bit offset on the front paws. Um, you got a longer sock on the left, a little bit shorter on the right, kind of covering those tippy toes. Um, but beautiful girl there. Keep on rolling. Oh, come here, girly. There you go. Um, we got tippy toes covered for her in the front. Nice white blaze in between her eyes. Um, and she is a little bit smaller maybe, not quite as heavy um, as the others so far. Um, white socks in the back as well, kind of covering those tippy toes. And a white tip tail for her. Beautiful tan coming through as well. And then last but not least. What's up, girly? You good there? You good there? There you go. Um, so moving on, last but not least here in the litter, um, we got a nice white blaze on this little girl. Got the white, or the tan on the side of the face, along with the tan eyebrows, um, and white socks front and back, along with a white tip tail. No Swiss kiss for her, um, and just nice stocky confirmation. Um, if you guys are curious about the noses, I know I've said this in previous videos, but I'll say it again. Um, I always get questions about it. Those noses will turn black. Um, they'll definitely stay or turn over time. Uh, most times around, I mean, you'll even see a difference in two weeks. Uh, but most times around like six to 12 weeks is kind of where it really transitions to a solid, solid black. Um, and most times, even by eight weeks, everyone will have their black nose. Sometimes uh, there's puppies that it'll stick around for a little bit longer, but uh, they do get their black nose eventually. So um, just if you have any questions on that um, or want more info on it, let me know. Of course, I'd be more than happy to help you out um, with any questions really uh, regarding this litter or other pu uh, puppies available. So thanks again, guys, for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Uh, really looking forward to seeing these guys and I'm um, looking forward to seeing you guys again in future vid videos.